15 part B, we're asked to calculate the bearing. And that bearing is of C, so of this point, from A. Now, I'll just show you that down here. You're always looking for where it's going from, and that is where you're starting from, and you're going to C. Right, sorry, here we go. So, from A to C. Now, bearings, they follow three simple rules. They're always from north, hence why there's a north line. It's then measured in a clockwise direction. We never, ever, ever go in anti-clockwise. So we have to go this way until we get to the line that shows us the direction of where C is. So this is the angle we are trying to find. Now, this is a straight line. It's a north line. So I know this bit here, I don't have to do any working out. I know that is 180. The only thing I need to work out is this little bit here. So, I'm going to call that an X. Just going to cross this one out for now. So let's, if you imagine yourself trapped in this angle, this is opposite you. So this is my opposite. This is the longer side, so this is the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent. Now, I'm not asked to find this, I'm not given any information on it, so that is not involved in the question. It's the O and the A. So I'm going to write all my working down here now. So, just to help me, I'm going to write my soccer tower. And I'm looking for the ratio that has the O and the A, which is this one. And this tells me the tan of the angle. This is the Greek symbol theta used to represent angle when we write trigonometry. is the opposite over the adjacent. So it's the opposite over the adjacent. Now you've got your formula, just put the numbers in. So we don't know what the angle is, that's the question. So tan of x is the opposite, 4.5, divided by the adjacent, which was 6. Let's work that, out, work that out. So tan of x is 0 0.75. And of course that isn't the angle. We need to find the angle of x. To do that, you need to use the inverse of tan. Like with every equation, you always use the inverse to remove something. And the inverse of tan is when you press shift tan on your calculator. So shift tan, it will look like this, of your answer. So let me just do that. And it gives us 36.86 blah de blah de blah. Now we're only interested in the nearest degree. So that is clearly 37 degrees. But that is not the bearing. We still haven't finished. Let's go back up to the top. This is 37. But this is 180. And the bearing is from the north all the way around until we get to this line. So we've got to add these two together. So the actual answer, I'll just write it up here, is 217 degrees. That is the bearing.